what is up guys today is a cold nasty day on my way to work of course no heat thermostat stuck open so today we're working on a 2007 dodge 2500 it's fully deleted and i am going to be replacing the thermostat and i'm going to show you guys how easy it is on a deleted Cummins 67 so Yes, here we so go. we pop the hood, you can see no EGR, deleted. First we're going to have to start off by taking this plate off to get to the housing for it. But what I want to do first to show how easy it is to drain. Come under here. And on the driver's side, there's a pet car. So I just want to twist that. Let her rip tater chip. Take about five and a half gallons in this truck. So I'm gonna let that drain, get some tools together, and I'll get back with y'all in a second. All right, it's pretty simple. I just gotta take this little cover right here off, and I'm gonna show y'all how easy it really is. Okay. little guy and that's it you can see on there if you look the o-rings pretty much shot the dealership I bought it from put a new radiator in it less than a year ago but I guess they didn't do what most people do it does their own work and put a new thermostat in it so there's that. Make sure we don't got no rubber or nothing down in there. Good. going with a 180 because I run this on a pretty hot tune so see if I can keep the temperature down just a little bit on it not a big deal OEMs 190 I'm putting a 180 in it put that back over get it close Bolt holes up.
it in tight for now. Throw our nut back on since it's on the ratchet. Sixteenths back on there. Me down. Do a little bit at each time. Get them. These are small bolts, so make sure you don't snap them off. That would not be fun trying to get that out right now. I'm trying to do a quick job. I'm not trying to pull all this out. So, I got all that done. And the coolant isn't even fully uh, drained out yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the hose that comes off the reservoir. Make sure I get my reservoir emptied out. And let this drain. And I'll get back with y'all. Pretty simple to get the reservoir hose off. It's hard to get a good picture, but right down there. Just grab it, pull it off. The reservoir will start draining, get all the old coolant out. Because if you're doing this, you might as well put some fresh coolant in it. So, like I said, I'm just using simple tools, guys. This is, this is easy. I've got a small 3 8 cobalt set, had some vice grips. So, loosen up that hose on the reservoir because it probably hadn't came off since 07. And now we're just gonna let her drain and oh, let that finish, fill it up with water, probably flush it out a little bit. And throw All right, it back. Well, we got the pet cock back in. The reservoir is drained. And now really all we have left is to add almost five and a half gallons of coolant. So my brother just showed up in the mega slab. Got a little baby Cummins over here, a little two wheel drive. He had to one up me. But it's okay. He's a pretty cool cat. So now all I really got to do is add coolant. So here we go.
looks like we got one and three quarters in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start up, let it warm up, maybe open up that uh, new thermostat and let the water get to circulating and then we'll check it in again. All right, it's running, been running for a second. As you can see, water level already dropped down. So set y'all back over here and add some more water. All right, guys, you get the point. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, got her done, got her filled up, headed home. I actually have a heater, it's really nice. It's 43 degrees right now, which I know people up north is like, that's not even cold, but I'm from Texas and it's cold. So right now my uh, temp that's on my tuner says I'm sitting at a 185 degrees should be popping open anytime now start cooling her down so I got that done and uh, looks like it was a success it uh, didn't take me long at all I maybe had it done in an hour if that now I'm headed home following a little brother and they will make a slab you can probably Maybe see him. I don't know. Let me turn the light on. See the old mega slab. I got just a regular crew cab 2500. He's got the old mega slab 2500. And his full drive, two wheel drive. Got a little friendly competition going on. He uh, he thinks he's going to be faster than me, but we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. So, well, if you uh, thought this video was helpful informative you got any questions comment down below if you give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that i uh really appreciate all y'all watching and uh i'll catch y'all on the next video thanks guys